Hey guys, it's me, Seth. I know it's been a while. I probably don't look quite the same, but I thought maybe it would be time for another Snapchat story. As I said, I know we don't look the same, but I promise that it's me, Seth. Today I wanted to talk about the prevalence of fake news and what social media companies and us as advertisers can do about it. I used a lot of filters there at the beginning because, you know, honestly, sometimes we can't tell the difference between what's real and fake. However, Snapchat filters really do give us an insight into a difference between what's fake and what's real. You guys know I'm not Einstein, and I definitely can't do math like Einstein. But how do we tell the difference between real news and fake news? Currently, as a way to combat the fake news problem, Facebook is surveying users on whether or not the news articles they see are newsworthy. Additionally, Google and Facebook both have taken steps to ban fake news aggregators from using their ad platforms. But what can we do as marketing and advertising professionals to help stop this prevalent issue? One of the reasons why fake news has become so prevalent is because of the clickbait titles that they use to promote their content. As marketing and advertising professionals, we should make sure that we're not doing the same thing, producing clickbait titles which perpetuate the issue. Instead, we should make sure that we're producing content that's straightforward, informative, and useful for all users. Ultimately, this is just a drop in the bucket. But, it can help users distinguish the difference between real and fake. So thanks for following us. Hope you enjoyed the snap. Give us a snap back. Tell us what you think.